Hi, it's Nick from Nick's Nutrition and today I've travelled down to Clipper Teas in Dorset to speak to the guys behind their green tea. As you may know, I'm a registered dietitian and one of my passions is finding out about the benefits about the foods that we eat and the drinks that we drink. I personally have been drinking green tea for years, I drink it all throughout the day and I love the fact that it's a great low calorie tasty way to stay hydrated, it's packed with antioxidants to keep us healthy and it's also got less caffeine in it than coffee or black tea. I'm here today to speak to Dan and James, the guys behind the scenes. So guys, what do you do here? I'm Dan and I'm responsible for quality at Clipper. So I'm James, I travel the world sourcing the finest teas and then shipping the teas back to Dorset where we taste, blend and pack them. So what is the difference then between black teas and green teas? Obviously the colour, green and black. Black tea undergoes a fermentation process which is controlled and that's really what develops the colour of the leaf. Mm -hmm. So is the green tea like more, more natural? The difference with green tea is really it's about locking in the freshness so you know if you imagine plucking the, the green leaves off the tea bush the idea is really to retain that as much as possible so we get that freshness through to the consumer's cup. How does it get then from the tea bush in those mountains to my cup of tea in my kitchen? So the tea is plucked and what you're trying to do is get that leaf that's been plucked to the factory within 45 minutes to really keep it as fresh as possible. Then when the leaf arrives in the factory, it's fixed mm -hmm. to stop any oxidisation and then it gets packaged up and sent to us in Dorset. Super. And what makes Clipper tea so special? For us, it's really uh, simple. It's uh, taste, quality uh, in great ethics. And you mentioned these fantastic ethics. What is it about the fair trade that makes it so important? For every kilo of tea that we're buying here, we're paying a premium directly back to the producer that can have a real tangible effect on that producer and that producer's family and their lives. I mean, a memory that we always uh, go back to is when we first visited China to the smallholders that we buy our green tea from. And to travel around these areas, uh, the roads were in really poor repair. And what they've been able to do is improve that road network so their children can now get to school in half an hour rather than four hours. So that's really important to us and it's really important for those producers. One thing that I wanted to ask you is that I've got friends who know that green tea is really healthy and they want to start drinking it. What would be your advice of how to start green drinking green tea? Maybe you would want to recommend, say, one of our new flavours. So this is a pear and honey. I love that one. Out of interest, like, what are your favourite flavoured green teas? For me personally, I'm a big lime fan, I'm a big ginger fan, yeah. so naturally, you know, putting that together with green tea is just a, a great fit. I'm a big fan of this new recipe, oh. hence the fact I pulled it off the shelf. So. Yeah, I love them both, and I think I like the green tea and lemon. I think that's really nice, like, first yeah. thing in the morning. It's yeah. really, like, wakes you up. So one question that I always get asked is, does green tea contain caffeine? Yeah, green tea does contain caffeine. You know, with that said, you know, black tea contains a lot less uh, caffeine than coffee, and green tea contains less caffeine than black tea. The most important question, I think, is how do I make the perfect cup of green tea at home? So my friends are coming around, what should I do at home? I mean, the water needs to be freshly drawn every time. Obviously infuse the tea bag. I mean if you want a really strong full cup you'd allow it to infuse for three minutes but if you wanted a lighter cup of tea then maybe you would infuse it for a minute or a minute and a half. So thank you guys so much for giving up your time to come and speak to me. Thank you for having me here at Clipper Teas. I found it so interesting. I hope that you at home have found it interesting as well. I would love to know what your favourite green teas are, if it's the plain or one of the flavoured ones. So do leave it in the comments down below and thank you very much for watching.